Welcome back everyone. Today we have the 2001 Ford Escape 2 liter engine. And in this uh, episode we're going to be looking at a idle issue where the idle will go up and down if you're at a stoplight or a stop sign. This is an intermittent problem so it doesn't do it all the time. So I thought what we could start off with we'll maybe look at some data here. Now I've already looked at this vehicle in the past for an AC problem. I've already taken care of that. Uh, sorry, I didn't film that. The wife was in a pretty much in a hurry. So it turns out that was only a issue with the shim washer. Had too big of an air gap on the clutch. So I just took the shim washer out and closed the gap and it's been working ever since. So let's go ahead and we uh, go into the history here. Let's go into the diagnostics and load this here up. diagnostics. Let's go into there. Now I don't suspect there's no check engine light or anything like that but let's just do an auto scan. Let's just see what this thing has got. See what kind of modules we got in here. I don't expect it's going to be a lot. Like I said this is 2001. But we'll see what it has in there. Now right now I have the engine off so we're just looking at it while it's, uh, the key is just in the on position. Let's go into the PCM module. And let's look at some live data. Had to give me a chance to play with this tool a little bit. I probably had it for about a month. This is the Maxisys Elite from Maltel. Okay, so we have an idle issue. So let's see what we can actually look at and pick in here. Well, first let me just kind of scroll down. Let me just see how many data bids in this. Yeah, quite a few of them here. That's a pretty big list to be an old car here. And I see I idle up there, so... Uh, I think we're going to get some of that. All right, let me start from the top again. Just want to kind of see what was in here. All right, so let me let me just slide over here. This way, you guys can see the see what I'm looking at. Well, I think we would want to look at engine RPM, so let me check him off. All right, so here we got idle air control one, two, and three. Looks like with the first one here is going to tell us what the amperage is on there. And also looks like here, I guess, a duty cycle. And I guess something here, reposition. Not sure what that is. And then we have the one here that says it's a fault, I guess, or no fault. Well, let's just go ahead and we'll just get all four of them. Why not? Now we, you know, maybe quite possible could have a vacuum leak here. I don't think we do, but let's look at some fuel trims here. So there's a long-term fuel trim. And there's a short-term. Maybe we'll just look at the throttle position also. Of course, it looks like it's okay. It's 0 0.96 volts right now. Now I was looking to see if there's a desired RPM. It should be in here somewhere. I probably overlooked it. Just going back to see if I can find that. I know we got an RPM. We selected that.
Hmm. So there we go. Desired idle speed engine RPM. So we looked at. So let's get that one and just make sure there's nothing else that we want to get here. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe Tex? Yeah, Tex is good enough. All right, let's go ahead and we'll just show them. So this is what we got right now. Okay, so that's good, it's all on one screen. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna crank up the vehicle and then I'm gonna let it warm up. So I'm gonna get back with you once that happens. All right, I just uh, cranked it up. I thought maybe I'd let you guys see a little bit of this while it's warming up. And we can kind of watch uh, some of the pids here. I'm kind of looking at these two values right here. So the computer wants it to run at like 960 RPM. And we're not too far off from that. But we'll keep a check on it. Right now it shows us uh, 535 milliamps that the uh, idle air control valve is pulling. Looks like at 53%. I would expect that to be about probably right since we're at a little bit higher R RPM. As the engine warms up and this here idle comes down, then this here duty cycle on this should come down too. I don't know exactly what that ought to be. Maybe say maybe 30%, I'm not sure. Control learn here. I don't know what that means. I mean, I, I, maybe the uh, it's moving it. Maybe the computer's moving the valve. Not sure. Now, long term fuel trim, you notice it's at minus 1.56. So, if we had some issue with a vacuum here, we can definitely, this would be a higher percentage. So, it looks like we don't have any kind of vacuum leak here causing this here idle to go up and down. Still watching it. As you can see right here, we had a little bit of difference there. Nothing crazy. And you can see that our amperage has come down a little bit, which is expected because we don't have as much of a magnetic field now because the pintle is not being opened up as much. So you can see also that this here percentage of uh, the control on the duty cycle that has also come down. Now I'm assuming this is a duty cycle, so only one way to find that out is uh, maybe look in a service manual or throw a scope on there, look at the waveform, then measure the uh, duty cycle on it. Not too concerned about it right now. You can still see that our uh, fuel trims are still looking pretty good. Just looking at just looking at stuff, just browsing around, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this continue running. Hopefully, uh, it's still probably got a ways yet to get to uh, being fully warmed up. So I'll, I'm gonna pause the camera, then I'll get you back, guys, back here, and uh, once it gets warmed up. Okay, guys, it's fully warmed up. And I've got the AC on right now to kind of put a load on this thing. Still up here looking right there. Still nothing crazy going on. Maybe this is normal. I can see that the desired idle speed it wants to be at 816. I mean, we're right around in there. So maybe this here 52% might be normal for this. I don't know. I don't know 100%. While we're here just kind of waiting, you could also do this thing with graphs, you know. So you can look at different graphs. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll look at that one as a graph. Let's do the RPM. Or you can set it up for this. Or 
Or you can set it up something like that. Let's go back to a graph. You could also scale it over here on the side as you can see. You can scale it in the X and the Y. I think it's in 1, 2, and 4 scales, I believe. You could also go full scale like desired idle speed RPM. I believe this will go full scale. So you can just look at one if you want to. And if you don't like the color of that, then you can also change the color. Let's say we want to make it maybe red, maybe a little bit thicker. Okay. Now to change the scale, right now it's at uh, two times, right? Four times, eight. Okay, so it's one, two, four, and eight. Back to the one. And then he got a Y scale also. That'll put us back to where we were. Nothing crazy, guys. But like I said, this thing was intermittent. I don't really see nothing out of the ordinary here. Let's put that back to text. Okay, guys, I customized it just a little bit. Still looking at it, I, I still don't see nothing out of the ordinary. So let's go out of this and let's see what we can do. Maybe we can control that idle air and see what kind of test we've got in here. Bi-directional control. Okay, so we got idle air control one, idle air control two. Now, if you remember, this one was giving us the percentage, I mean the amperage, and this one over here was giving us the, uh, the percentage. Well, let's get both of them. All right. Let's go back, because I want to get the other one, too. So I want that one. If monofly is not as well, we do want some data, don't we? So what do we want? We want to get, well, we want desired. We want, uh, in fact, let me do this. I'm going to go back. I think what I want to do, instead of looking at the amperage, let's look at the percentage. Okay. Now let's get the desired. I'm looking for the RPM now. Engine RPM. Let's see what that'll give us. Okay. So we have our desired RPM here. This is what the engine is doing. Let's crank it up. I don't know if this is the software doing that, but uh, you can see that this here is staying the same. But if we look up here, this looks like it's going up. So right up here, you can see it's 55, 
mean, I can't see anything out of the ordinary here. But I think what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look, a closer look at this um, idle air control valve. Even though we can't see anything like that just jumps out at us. So I think I'm going to save that for the next video. In this video, I just wanted to kind of show the scan tool a little bit, look at a little bit of data, just see what this tool had to offer. Like I said, it's all new to me also. So it looks like it... Uh... Yep. Anyway, just watching the RPM on this thing. So I think what we'll do is we're going to wrap this one up. And we're going to take... and uh, Let me just get out of there. And yes, we will. And then we'll go back to home screen. And so we'll see you in the next video here where we're going to get, take a closer look at this idle air control valve. I just probably may just wind up changing it, you know, if everything looks good as far as, this, you know, the voltage is there, which I'm sure it probably is. And uh, it looks like it does have control. And so we want to thank you guys for watching the video here. Appreciate uh, your patience. And we'll see you guys in the next one. We'll take a little bit closer look at this here valve. You guys take care.